Oh, welcome to the Putter Show. A little bit of a later Putter Show, a cold Putter Show. It's before Warwick Farm races on a Wednesday because there's been funerals, there's been race meetings again. Glenn, hello. G'day guys. Yeah, a mate of mine died, which is sad, very sad. And his funerals on Monday, so I apologise for the show being late. It's, and, it was uh, actually quite, well, it's not funny, but it's, as you mentioned, you go through the stage in life, you get 21st birthdays, you get weddings, and, then and you now get, you're at the funeral stage. And the, the worst thing about me at funerals is I am, like, socially, like, honestly, socially, I am a fucking retard. There's right. just <laughs> no better. Everyone knows. Yep. Well, and, and uh, I just cannot function in the real world. Like, at all. Like, <laughs> that's why you're at the track. Yeah, and that's why I've been there 35 years, yeah. and I'm doomed to... That's right. I'll give you an example. I'm in the back of the church at a funeral. No, no one's laughing. And you wouldn't laugh. I, uh, this, oh, there is actually good, a theory. There, there, there is a song there on the kind yeah. of person who laughs at a funeral. <laughs> Mark Lamble, anyway, Matt Taylor, hello anyway, as well too. I want to I get this on the retard barometer. Yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, he was a beautiful man and a very nice person and, and blah 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 and he was a, one of 14 kids so it's a big family wow. yeah it was the biggest family in our school and uh, oh really <laughs> yeah Catholics <laughs> but, oh, Catholics. but and his mum was there and nice people and of course so you hear a lot of stories from brothers and sisters that you haven't even met because yeah. he's got so many brothers and sisters he probably hasn't met himself <laughs> there they are are there and, 13 left? no one died at school young uh, Kieran died in school or at school, I think. Yeah, anyway, it's, it's a, and mathematics catches up with everybody. Yeah. Every family. Met young, yeah, if you've got never 40, probability. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was all 30 years ago, so you can crack it. Anyway, just quickly, have, have you ever been to Chatswood? Like, the old drinking place in Chatswood was Chatswood. the Charles Hotel, exactly. And then it was the Orchard Bar. There's a new bar called the Monkey Bar. Have you heard of the Monkey Bar? Mm, no, I don't think so. No, yeah. I, 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 I haven't been well, to Chatswood. Apparently that's we lost the, it. That's the in spot to drink at Chatswood, because this is a Chatswood family. Oh, I, think I actually might have been there with Billy Story. Yes, I might have, yes. Okay. So yes, yes. So one of the lovely sisters gives a talk, and she just wanted to acknowledge the new friends in Greg's life that he met at the Monkey Bar. Mm. Well, I'm in the church, and I'm going, oh. And of course, I said to some people afterwards, oh, I, it's nice that Greg would go to the park, <laughs> still playing in the Monkey Bars. <laughs> That's how retarded I am. And they go, what do you mean? Like, and I was, I was thinking, it's a bit, it's a bit <laughs> odd to be making friends in your 50s down with the monkey bars. <laughs> but I honestly thought that. That's how retarded and fun. And they said, it's a fucking bar in Chatswood, you imbecile pollock. I said, what, the monkey bar? And they go, yeah, the monkey bar. And I went, and then it made sense because he loved to have a drink and he was a total bloke. <laughs> but I thought he met some mates, new mates, and they acknowledged him down there on the monkey bars like a fucking idiot Jesus. yeah that is that's that's, yeah. that's socially retarded yeah right because i'm thinking isn't, you it, belong it, isn't it strange that you'd be still like meeting new that's us meeting some new mates where'd you meet them while down the park <laughs> i was on the swings they were on the monkey bars <laughs> we, we went over you had to be there <laughs> yeah he was 150 kilos i was 50. Yeah. the swings didn't the the, 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 sea, the, sea, the seesaw didn't work too well cones. we did three shields behind the other monkey bar we're adults now, but like, <laughs> oh, but, uh, dear. see you later, Greg. You're a real good guy. Yeah, so well, yeah, it's a shame. There's it? a bookies club too. You just work for Mick Rolfe. Yeah, there yeah. it is. Racing blood. Work for Mick Rolfe with um, Billy Fung. They're two pious boys, ex boys. Very nice, no very nice men. Billy's an absolute just champion people. And then you die. There it is. Yeah, there it is. You die. Well, we're going we're gonna to be talking about dying in a second and on the end of the world markets as well, too. We've got quite a few things non racing to talk about, too, which you normally like. Uh, oh, no, we, hang on, Dust, which we have to like because a new rule came in on the first. Yeah, you all worried about it. No one's allowed to say anything <laughs> bad about anybody in racing. The show not. could. This could be our last show, punters. You glad what, what happened? Oh, there's an edict from so, on social media that um, there's a new rule. That, you, oh, actually, your stuff. You can't say anything. Licensed people can't. Um, you can't say anything, anything. racist. Anything. Yeah. Uh, anything. The whole, the whole rule looks yeah. like and it's you, been written for me. You, you, you can't. You can't <laughs> say anything. Racism. Abusive. How does it apply to you if you're not licensed? Well, he. It's it does. State, any person. I'm told him it doesn't. I'm told him Racing Victoria have no rule. Have no. Have a look at the new rules on Racenet. It's funny because the new rules on Racenet. But I went to race in New South Wales. There's no sign of it there. No. no. <laughs> anyway, man of the match. I reckon PBL Pro Pro Bet Alive had a big one. Did you, you had a good day. It? Yeah, yeah. Solid day. Mark had a solid day, which we mentioned. Um, <clears throat> there were some out wide winners there that were good, that got a good uh, a good rap on the previous show. Oh, oh good. Mm. Did you? Mm, lovely. Blue yeah. Season. Well, Lucy's look, it was Glyn off. Straight away there was a tick. 
It's a nice style horse. <laughs> that mind you, Glenn's turned the corner now. He went to the dark. Oh, I can't even say that anymore, can I? Glenn's a very good rider. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Always has been. Thank you, Mr. Volandis, for letting me go to the races today. <laughs> Everything is good. I've got. I've actually got to introduce a new term, and uh, it's not an endorsed one. You were mentioning retards, which we we we. Well, I was a retard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, retarded. So, so, socially yeah, retarded. Yeah, no, that's all right. We're not allowed. Yeah, well, there was. Yeah, yeah. Matt, you okay. remember Anne Marie, who you met an English friend at the races earlier in the year, who introduced friend window liquor into our. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, into our election. She, I was speaking to her on the uh, on Sunday, okay. and she said the big thing, not not that she's endorsing it, is that anything happens good in the UK at the moment, you go boom. Yeah. yeah, so like, oh, boom, right. boom. Right. right, I've seen someone do that. Like, boom. So yeah. if Anne-Marie gets picked up and you know, gets a real good one too, after she goes, boom. boom. <laughs> yeah. There it is, boom. <laughs> yeah. So right. we might, we might okay. do a few okay. booms through the show. Somewhere? No, my, my builder kept carrying on like that. Oh, boom. Boom. oh, so it's come to Australia? Yeah. Oh, we're not releasing it. Oh. But anyway, all right, Pro Better Live. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, that's You're allowed to say, no, that's positive. Boom. Positive. Yeah. Oh, it's, well, it probably oh, it might be a black no, thing. Racing New South Wales. Boom! I've got to say, it's hard, it's hard, not, it's hard not to um, admire what? Peter Bland. Oh, you got, boom! When you think of what he's boom! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, all those used to Eastern European people oh, have nothing Marie. on Peter Lane. Love you to right, darling. Talking about social retards, just quickly, and, and diverting just quickly, if you a high school leaver and you're looking for a job, Brendan Parnell, get involved there. I was watching the races last week. I oh, know he's the employee, the employee there. Honestly, you don't have to look any good. They take anybody at Sky. <laughs> but last week, I back to know Shea Horse. I was in the pub, a day off, a bit pissy. I was like, ah, oh, this. All the way down the stream, I'm going, sure, that's the colour. Not the nut. And then, Hick, did you see uh, a Shea Horse one leg with $15? Elevates, E-L... Did you see it? Elevates one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Canberra. This is how it's uh, Alban, sorry. I'll just spell it for you. E L E V A T E S. Elevates. E L E V A T E S. Elevates. Well, the call of the whole race called it alleviate. Was it Mitchell Manners? I don't know who it was, but so he, did, he just stuck, he snuck, he snuck an I in. No, and an A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a double L. <laughs> and an I E V. What do you think? You get a job at Sky, you can't even spell either. So here comes Alleviate, and I'm going, fucking, I'm an elevator, where's Alleviate? So, <laughs> and then up with it, I went, oh, you're beauty! And then it went back, then it went back to the... Studio. Studio, oh, great, written there by Alleviate. So now they're all talking about Alleviate. You couldn't give and the call up. About a minute later, you, you hear the phone in the background, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, well, Elevate's did a good job there. <laughs> so look, if you're out there and you can't spell and you're nothing to look at, in fact, you look like a little fat Lego man or something, <laughs> you feel you've got no future anyway, get in contact with Brendan Parnell at Sky because he will give you a job. <laughs> All right, beautiful. Oh, moving, right. moving along now, no, Glenn. No, Glenn. Out, no, Sorry? Can I, I, I add anything that out? Oh, yeah, oh, I think that's all right. That's that right. Allevi cool. Alleviates us, yeah. Okay. Alleviates. Don't yeah. if they can't spell, what are they? Or, it's or bad enough, no, we've got, it's it's bad enough we can't get rid of Cole Hodges, who just calls the Glenn, wrong Glenn, horse. Glenn, 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 social media restrictions. Good man, Cole Hodges. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know if you're allowed to talk about genocide when it comes to uh, all things happy, um, but Glenn... Um, <laughs> I think that's like the opposite. Glenn, you mentioned uh, Mr. Pot, first name Paul, last week, which... Um, oh, yes, yes. Which... Uh, oh, good man. You, were, you, were likened, you likened him I'll to... Um, you, Mr. Pol Pot never left a fingerprint, did he? Like? No, well, you, like, you likened him getting... Uh, well, sorry, Robert Thompson getting a Hall of Fame <laughs> award to, uh, to him getting the Peace, Nobel Peace Prize. So I thought we'd uh, just go over a couple of the um, Mr. Potts. <laughs> Collie, what would you say? What would you say? Piers. Piers, yeah, Piers. Where do you reckon Mr. Pot runs on the list of uh, numbers of genocide? Well, he'd be in the top ten. He's top ten, yeah, but yeah. You, yeah. I'd say he's five. I haven't looked at this. Jesus, you're close. Well, well Chairman Mao. Chairman Mao, they... they, they, they so, <laughs> so, many, so many Chairman Mao... Uh, they've just said somewhere between 50 and 78 million. They just can't even work it out with Chairman Mao. It's not a bad effort. <laughs> it's like, you, when, you, when you get down the bottom and you see, like, you know, when, when, when I suppose, Mr. Mugabe, who's, he had, he who's had one of our... to work with. Yeah, yeah, I know, but... Work with but I mean, yeah, because they're not really people, a lot of Chinese. <laughs> 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 then you get to Mr. Mugabe, who's only done 20, and, I mean, he's 
probably going to be number one. Is he I mean, 20 million or 20,000? 20,000. Oh, he's just, he he's, started. He's, he's haven't even started yet. Adolf got 12. I, I thought Adolf might have been just a bit overrated in, when we first did this mm. market. I thought Adolf might have been down a little bit lower. Leopold the second of Belgium. Bel Belgium, yeah, he, he went through 8 million. 8 million. He didn't miss him, Leopold. No, <laughs> Joseph Stalin, 7. He's done a good job, Joseph. Uh, Hideki Tojo, I've never heard of him. No, he did 5, he five million the civilians. Japanese emperor or Japanese. Oh, oh, I, was, okay. I thought he was yeah. claiming for yeah. Does that count, though, if you're at war and you've got, like, well, Kazi, everybody? Well, whoever put this list together, I think, was conveniently from the US. And he didn't, he didn't count the bombing of Hiroshima as genocide. Because obviously it was white people who did it into the Japs, so that doesn't. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. What about the second one? Because they were warned after the first. One. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they should. They should have left. What about they? the bloke? <laughs> what about the bloke that survived two nuclear explosions? He's got a special name in Japan, and he's still alive. What he was in Hiroshima <laughs> visiting the first day, <laughs> yeah. and then he went home to Nagasaki to make it for the next one. <laughs> That's my <laughs> boat. Just pulls it off the end of his dick, just another bad day on the track. Another bad day on the track. <laughs> anyway, then... The Japanese it, it, unlucky version of them Well, didn't Someone you didn't you say, though, like, you, you mentioned something like that two weeks ago, when Miss Dewey Davidson just missed the earthquake, and then you had another friend that just missed something else as well, too. Yeah. yeah. You might have you known this person in a previous life. That's right. Anyway, um, Ismail Enver comes in next, 1.2. Uh, Never heard two. of him, he's from the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, he? and then your man, Mr. Pot. Pol, first name Pol. 1.7 million, who went to all the efforts of getting all these mass murderers? I, I put, well, all Matt time. and I had a look at it the other day, yeah. So there's some... There's research some, for the show. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, we've got researchers, yeah. Ho Chi Minh, 200,000, there's a name, yeah, you know. Well, Saddam, just well, Saddam, Saddam. Yeah, I mean, Saddam? like these people, these people we talk about, these modern Idi, day people. Like Idi Amin, only 300. Idi Amin, only 300. I thought, I thought, I thought Idi Amin would be better, would have done a better job than what that. What I like about all these, the, the, the funniest thing I know straight away is all the Asian names and all the Middle Eastern names, and then you come down to about number 45 here, you've got Charles Taylor. <laughs> yeah, what about, what about, what about Rick Charlie? You've got 220,000. Uncle yeah. Charles. Yeah, Richard Nixon, 70,000, they've counted him. What about oh, As right. Osama? Why they yeah, I know, he was there somewhere. Osama he's Bin Laden, second last. Second last. Three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand Osama Bin Laden. I wonder how many people we does it, killed does it, in yeah. our life from just being here, whether we went through a red light. It's something yeah. we don't the, know. You know the, like theory, the theory of chaos. Yeah, yeah. That leaf drops and then that has a reaction yeah. to something and then all yeah. that sort of stuff. Yeah. I wonder yeah. if we've killed someone we don't even know it. Well, you know, I mean, they've only, when, when you, Osama's only three and a half yeah. and Augusto Pinochet from Chile's only three, we might be, we, we could make the list. You might have broken some kid's leg at football so he couldn't play for six weeks, but five weeks later on a Saturday, he went down with his crutches to get the paper for his old man to get hit by a truck. Because of he was on crutches? Because you tackled him. You tackled illegal. him. You're just like, you yeah. know, or maybe doubtless you've a few girls and... <laughs> they went and killed themselves after they fucked That was pretty funny. <laughs> That's not fucking like a uh, million chance. Uh, That's <laughs> even. <laughs> Uh, even. Even. Well, you never know. Even. You banged a lot of girls. What have you banged? 300, 500? There might be some girls. If you're out there and you've had a run with Dallas and you're now suicidal, write to us. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. It's a, good, it's a funny thing. All right. Right. All right. Well, we were talking about being suicidal at the end of the world. We will get to the racing at some stage, but there is so much to talk about today because, Glenn, in your, um, in your research for things, um, you came across a market that we were going to have a little bit of a test case and see if we can get on here oh, something. Right. Let's just hang on for a minute. Let's just get this straight. Corporate bookmakers, you are dogs. <laughs> Anyone? No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be tracking <laughs> There are some that are uh, okay. corporate bookmakers who don't sponsor me. <laughs> you are dogs. Because where you have found a market that honestly, hang your head in shame. I reckon it's pretty cool though because they do they do say must happen by 2016 or all bets and bobbies. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, have, there is a time. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, but you still can't. Any, any, anyway, the thing is, how the world will end is a market. How the world will end is a market. You Where's the payout actually... clerk? <laughs> we <We're> payout clerk. <laughs> Who did put it together? In? Who was it? All right. Okay. Yeah. How the world will end. What do we want? Thirteen dollars spread of new spread of new incurable disease. Moral. Another ice age. Twenty to one. Chance. Drowned by glo global flood or tsunami, 20 to 1. No. no. Global superstorm, 33s. Chance. A world earthquake. 
Yeah. Well, Walnut's quite good. Yeah. Like every 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 tectonic plate just goes nuts. Forties. I'm saying four hundreds. That asteroid Armageddon. This is my a- asteroid yeah. Armageddon's got to be in front of World Earthquake. Yeah. Well, this is for 2016, so they're all add two zeros to all these. Yeah. Oh, what, yeah. About, what about what, what about what should be favourite? They've missed favourite. Peter Land is making so many more rules to keep everyone <laughs> quiet that we all neck ourselves. Mass mass suicide. Six dollars fifty. Six dollars. <laughs> um, destroyed by man made killer robots. Eighties. Engulfed in lava. Hundreds. Swallowed by a black hole. One hundred and twenty six. Consumed by the sun. One hundred and fifty one. Another Big Bang 250s, Alien Invasion 500s, and Eaten Alive by Zombies is a thousand, which we're about to make favourite now, boys. Are you going to try and get on? We're going to try to go back. If you will just, <laughs> just get a log into Sportsnet here. And I have a hundred thousand. I've got a, we've just got, have ten dollars. Well, I, and this is a Sportsnet account that basically they've bet us to win a thousand dollars maximum. So oh, okay. that's about where right, we're at. Right, 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 right. So who is the joint sports bet of betting these sports odds bet. on Just how the world will I'll, end? I'm, I'll probably have to log in again here, Matt. Hang on one okay. sec. How do they get away with putting up this market? Oh, hang on. We're not, we're, we're connected to the server. There we go. One sec. Yeah, well, how the world will end. Who yes. owns sports betters? Uh, Paddy Power. Paddy Power. Paddy Power. Betting on how so the they world won't, will they end. So they won't bet you to win $1,000 on a Metropolitan race in Sydney, but... We might be able to get set 10,000 to 100. No, it's 10,000 to 10. Is it zombies? Oh, it's 1,000 to 1. Oh, we only have to, yeah. It's 10 sorry. bucks. It's, sorry, I thought it was 100 to 1. No, it's, it's, we don't want 100,000. We were prepared 000, to 100. spend 100. No, we don't, need, we don't need a lot of money when we're dead. Okay. No, we then, go try a bet to win 100,000. Try a bet to win 100, okay. Are we going to count there? <laughs> oh, yeah. So Penny Power don't bet anyone to win $1,000, but when... Will they beat you to win a hundred thousand? On the end of the world. On the end of the world. And, and you can, you can. Oh, I've got their phone Especially number. Especially given their market doesn't add up to hundred. <laughs> Have you logged well, in? Logged in. Here we go. All right. All right. Let's see we're we going to to win a hundred thousand. We're going to. Okay. Uh, novelty. I can be rich. Well, as I said to somebody, could you imagine if the world did end and you've got a ticket for a hundred thousand or a hundred thousand or ten thousand? You'll find where to collect. <laughs> And from now on, you're going to bed cheering zombies. <laughs> well, it's not a bad show, is it? The Walking Dead. It's not a bad show. End of world, here we go. Novelty markets, end of world. Yep. Eaten by zombies. All right, lovely. Here we Who go. Who counts this uh, right. Hey? Is it, is it a bodgy? No, it's mine. It's in my name. Dallas Baker. Yep. Your account's going to be closed okay. this afternoon when they see this. Okay, Eat, a lie, eaten by zombies. Okay, Where's, that's in the bet slip. Okay, how the world will end. Uh, what do we want to just try to put a hundred on it? Hundred to hundred. Hundred to a hundred thousand. Trying to get it to focus. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, obviously. So there we go. Can you get that? The sun's there. We're having hundreds. <laughs> on the thousand one chance. Confirm your bet. Please click uh, the yeah. amount. Confirm. Any bet. Any. Come on. Come on, bet. Come on. Bet Come on, betters. Come on. Betting, betting process. <laughs> That is your fucking job. Betting process. Go on. Go on, do it. <laughs> fucking things. <laughs> what? Why is it still processing? It's processing. It's processing. It's 100,000. Look at it. They're, long, they're on CNN right now. Yeah. Yeah. Invasion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They think we know something. What about this bed pen? Hang on, hang on. Hang on, Uzi. Please speak it, Uzi. He was with Fletcher yesterday. They might be up to something. <laughs> processing. So we're on pending. They won't even invest with 100,000 about zombies. <laughs> Processing. Right, so we come back to that? We we'll come back to, we'll come back to, we'll do the rest of the show. We'll come back. We'll allow that to sit there and see how it goes. It can't still be going. It's still processing. Is it really processing? They, 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 can you imagine what they're saying in there right now? Somebody is just, <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? They're having board meetings there. This is live. Do you reckon reality TV? Yeah. What about these? Yeah. Like, the circle's going around. Yeah, we're still processing. Anyway, anyway, so that will come back to the show. Right. We'll be bet tonight. <laughs> 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 Exceeds limit. Yeah. We, we can't pay. So anyway. Anyway. All right, okay. So how that's... is anyone allowed to put that market out there? <laughs> anyway, well, if they take that hundred dollars, that's <laughs> wow. Anyway. There'll be some young bloke. Uh, uh, here we go. I think we can pinch a hundred. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, well, it'll be interesting to come back and say, you know, like what normally I'll happens on my with. Lap, if you like. Yeah, you can get. You can, oh, you can get an eye. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Okay, um, be interesting. So they come back. Still bed like, pending. Still bed pending. They're, they're having a board meeting. <laughs> 
anyway. anyway. 100,000 or 100 of the zombies. It'd be hard not to cheer the zombies, wouldn't it? <laughs> See, the problem is now, Mark, as I said, every time he's going to bed now, he is just cheering zombies. He's just oh. going. <laughs> oh, there it is. All right, Rose Hill, Saturday. Away, away we go. Um, so we'll do that so we know that we're all working and everyone's happy. Lovely. We're sweet. We're sweet. <laughs> What's happened with sports? Bet? Oh, hang on. Hang no, on. no, no, we can get on 20 bucks on. Okay, <laughs> we're right. Only $20? Hang on, about it. Come over here. We can get. Um, alternative, alternative steak proposed. <laughs> oh, I just thought I declined. Oh, no, I oh, did it. Out of time. Sorry, so the best. Maybe it's first. The bet has been declined. The best has been declined. No, but they said you can get on to, get on for 20. Well, $20 Yeah, yeah, we'll take some zombies. Have they firm? <laughs> I, don't in the <laughs> I think fucking kidding. This is a joke. <laughs> this is, this is. Oh, hang on. What is it? Uh, close. I think door. I think they've taken the markets down. <laughs> oh no! The markets. They don't. They don't. Dallas, after the show, before you put this to air, ring them. Say we want five thousand dollars to put this to air. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> oh no, they're sports day, novelties. Yeah. Where's just novelties? I think they've taken it down. <laughs> well, was it world events? What was it? No, uh, politics? Novelty bets. Novelty bets, that's it. Yeah, there it is. There it is, come on. Come End of world, come on. Come on we'll, yeah, we'll get on. You can bet us, you can bet us. Yeah, no, there's still, there's still a thousand. Still a thousand to one. Can we get 20 bucks on? We're going to put 20 bucks on bet. Come on, sports book. Confirm. We're going to go through this process. Come yeah, on, sports bet, you can bet us. Placing your bet was uns- Oh, no, they've just said five. Five dollars. Five dollars now. Wait, wait. <laughs> come on, come on. You can do it. Come on. Maybe. Yeah! 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 <laughs> five thousand to five? Five thousand to five. Yeah! <laughs> so they oh, actually oh, better five. All right, now the next right. trick is, Glenn, yes. why don't you give them a call and see if you get sent for something at five thousand and five dollars that they might be risking today at Warwick Farm? We might do that in part hey, two. We should ring them and say, why couldn't we get set for more? Yeah, what do what you know something? <laughs> should I? I'll oh, fucking tell them I'm panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having a nervous break. Well, no, they've really, really, really uh, expanded themselves. <laughs> yeah, they've just accepted a bet. They're only supposed to bet to lose a thousand. Yeah. And they bet us to lose five thousand. Yeah. Two thousand on provision. They, 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 <laughs> they, they, they must right. know something about earthquakes. <laughs> that is so scary that they've actually bet you on that. <laughs> you know, what about the fact that they've knocked back a hundred bucks? <laughs> You would love that Robbie mentality. <laughs> yeah, Robbie. Put it in the, yeah, put it in the bag. Yeah, yeah Robbie. Robbie's going to rig up and say, "Your name's that man's money." Robbie, Robbie, will, Robbie will rig up on the That's way from England. Up. He'll say, "He'll say, would you like to have another five on that?" <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, there it is. You want it again? Anything you like? Your local corporate, he's here to help. So, thanks, thanks Pete. That's thanks, the, Ray. That, I guess uh, they're. Boom! Off, <laughs> they're off our affiliate list, I'd imagine. Yeah. We made it to like Sportsvet's top five shows to watch for racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. Well, that was entertaining. Free. That's entertaining. Yeah, right. That's right. They, should, they should be happy with that. Oh, well, whoever, whoever did think you What we're saying to Sportsvet is you really can't do that. Mm. Oh, I think it's quite funny though. It's a classic. Yeah. It's a classic they knocked you back 100,000 or 100. About zombies turning up. But they still took the five. I May 2016. Not like yeah, yeah, in yeah. 20 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, I think they'd always avoid and you get your money back. So, right. so we'll be by the start. It's probably like our even billions. Right. I'm still paying mine off. <laughs> right. anyway, we'll like we, we, we've still got a few bets pending though on a couple of the big ones. Rose Hillmark. Yeah, it was... Um, it was suck up a bit more than I thought it would be. What did you say, Glenn? Yeah, touch. I agree with that. Is it possible that... The, I think um, it was overplayed right out wide. I think to go back, like in the, the thing down the bottom of the last race, which was always going to go back and sit wide. Great type of... Yeah, impulsive... Uh, yeah, impulsive kind of had no price. Impulsive no, spirit. Exactly well, especially right, yeah. the way that S. Clippert had ridden the race before, where he drew two on Lunar Rise and he was going around the... the he was doing yeah. the Christopher Columbus... No, no, the... Um, yeah. Burden and think... Magellan. <laughs> it's a history, isn't it? Ferdinand Magellan, what did he do? Circumnavigate the globe. Of course he did. Yeah, did he? Did Magellan, he? Did he? Who? No, who discovered the globe wasn't? Well, we were, we were a globe rather than. Oh, who sailed out off the edge? Yeah, Columbus. You ask, Chris, Chris, you Columbus. ask anyone uh, in Sky. They, they, they say that uh, <laughs> the country that he came from, they really alleviated his status. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well done, Brendan. Yeah, so any, any any horse that was caught wide, we have to alleviate their run. Mm.
Yes. I guess so. <laughs> or elevated. Um, yes, so it was, is it, is it quite possible, I haven't done the stuff with Vince, is it quite possible the back was wetter than the front? Yeah, you suggested that, that makes sense. Um, the, um, what does the back mean wetter than the front? Like, yeah, probably, the probably, probably to the 600 was, was a more an effect. Oh, that's why you had yeah. to suck up. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? So you, you, you couldn't sort of sit wide. You couldn't play catch yeah. up around there or yeah. make yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. so it was, so it was the harder, harder for the first half of the race is easier for the second half of the races. That's interesting. Mm. That makes sense to me. Lovely. Okay, we're going through these, going through these quickly because you've got to get to Warwick Farm. Press statement, Glenn, as, a, as I think we tweeted out. Lovely. Probably better live. How the hell did it start twenty to one at its first start? It's well, I was, well, at, that, I was at that Wednesday that day, and I remember was standing at the throw that day. It was a bit of a result, actually, thank God. But uh, I went the other way on Saturday. I thought I should look better on the Wednesday, but it's a lovely horse, but it wasn't a race. Jiggy, jog, jiggy, jog, jiggy, jog. Well, they've gone. They've gone the best of the day. Those two horses. Hit and you know, they did have first use of first the track, use. but they, yeah, they, they went the best of the day. Wow. That's surprising, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's surprising. To, to the eye, it didn't look like it, did it? No. To the eye, it looked like Jimmy picnicked in front, clicked up, and then ran away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, but he was 11, under th 11 to 13.50 with a month off. Yeah. And he did, he did look like the last 100 metres he was 11 to 13.50 with a month off, didn't he? He was, had the race absolutely shot to bits, and there was a little bit um, of... A, I will worry. say one thing about this horse going forward to the JJ Atkins. I don't think it'll go. Yeah. He's already, he's already yeah. said it's going. Okay, well if it's going, you've heard it first here on The Punter Show. Will not place. Will not place. Okay. It's getting, it'll be too thin by that time next week. Mm. Right. Horses that are, have gone backwards and thinness like it, now this is a bit of a man and Yamal. It's next Saturday? Yeah. yeah. The they other can't form, back the other up. Lines yeah, look but at the with it, especially with the trip away too. But you can't back up within the week and get condition on, Mark. Yeah. Okay. Especially with the trip away. So I'm saying. So we said the big comments here. Mm -hmm. Press statement. Will not place. Okay. Beautiful. Um, Miss Vaughan and Ecuador were better round. They weren't really no, wanted. Miss Vaughan was wanted very late. Very late. But Ecuador was unwanted. I've never seen a horse. Five twenty jumps. Never seen a horse with as many aces as it had. It didn't seem to have a lot of aces. That yeah. was just completely unwanted. Unwanted. Yeah. Did I tip both of those on top though? Yes, you did, Glenn. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we did that. Now, one thing that one of the aces that Ecuador seemed to have was your man who you, you gave a really big welcome back to the Sydney riding ranks in Danny Beasley about three weeks ago, who rode that horse like a gay waterhouse horse should be ridden, unlike how Tommy Berry has been riding those horses. Uh, for a long time, and that was just get out in front, keep going, and fucking go. I must say, Dee Beasley has come good faster than I expected. Yeah, I agree with that. And I think, but Dee Beasley used to do a pretty competent job ten years ago on Gay Wood Out. Grand, I mean. Well, it's like he's got back in the old, you know, got back yeah. to the old, you know. He really, he really did. Comfortable girlfriend. And, and look, I imagine it's, I imagine it's not an easy thing for a jockey to do to keep going at that pace because you're thinking, you know, they, if I keep going. Yeah. You know they'll go, but when just when you thought he was going to slow down, he's gone. No, you know what? I'm going to keep going. And the race was won. Angus came over. Go Ecuador, you good thing. Uh, bad Jimmy then turned up after the first two. He, he was on the very well back bubbles and boats. Just and getting back to Ecuador, just quickly. Um, down, cause we always try to top punch. It was a perfect example of the horse that paraded well. I mean, I tipped on top, big deal. It did um, get well out in market expectations. And for someone like me, punting, it was really easy to have another. I think I had about another six or seven hundred on as it jumped at the 520, yeah. thinking I'm going to get that six or seven hundred back in the run no matter what. And I gave it back in the run at 350. And when I watched the replay, I thought, well, how the hell did I even give it back? Yeah. And <laughs> who's the bastard there that had 600 back with me at 350? Yeah. Because yeah. I want that 1500 back. Yeah. Even though I had gone for the exact purpose yeah. of this horse is going to find this spot, it's well above its ratings price. It's going to be an easy horse to mm. lay in the run. And so also, think about that when you're punting. If you know where they're going to be, have a bit more on them and get something out of them in the run. I'm actually filthy with myself for getting it back in the run. And it's not, and it's not always the case, and so so often we see the drifts. But these were these were more betting around drifts than than, than the horses no good drifts, wasn't it? And I think we saw we see later in the day we're going to talk about our show that this was just fucking not with us drift. Um, yeah, yeah. But, to get to 17 or 18. Oh, and, um, it was Waller Fair. Yeah, Chris well, Waller and, and the half fair. of Bedfair. <laughs> it's just amazing. These isn't it? tentacles are everywhere. Even though there's nothing wrong with that because I'm a new person. I'm Boom. Bag, boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bagging anybody. I'm too scared to bag anyone. And you'll never hear me be racist again. What are these fucking wogs doing? <laughs> Cleaning the street. <laughs> 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 
not in the yet. yet. We what? just we've got aliens oh. going for five thousand. <laughs> See, we've got a bit live. That's what makes us happy. Yeah. We've got an interest in something. We've got an interest in We've got some hope. <laughs> As think... we're being eaten alive by aliens. <laughs> Where's my ten <laughs> monkeys? Who's got the ticket? <laughs> Oh dear! Um, you mentioned Lucy's looked awful. Uh, look, look, uh, got the win there with um, Glyn off, which is no problem anymore. Uh, it was a golden switch. It was a classic golden switch. To Lucy's look. Gate well, one of Warwick Farm or Gate two yeah, of Warwick Farm. Yeah, mildly unfancied. Glyn on. There it is. You know, it came out of the same race as Allegria. It's, it, it was after the race. You just shake your head because I, I, I thought about it. Well and truly all day, and then I didn't act upon it on the day. And the, yeah, the, stewards, the stewards' report said last start that it blundered at the thousand, and I really couldn't see it. It was, it was a strange one. So I was like, "What happened last?" What do we start? make of this boy, Rory Hutchins? He's, he, he, look, he's come back fifty million times better than he Matthew turned Hayden. up here last week. Last I agree. Year. I agree <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like he's riding with purpose. Oh, well, I, I just threw it up. I don't know where it came from. Remember when Matthew Hayden was scoring a million runs in, yeah, but he in, in state cricket, and then he went into the international side and just couldn't get it off the square, and then he went back to state cricket, scored another million runs, and then became one of the greatest opening batsmen of all time. Matthew Hayden, yeah, there he is. Yeah, Matthew Hayden. <laughs> What's a big rap for Rory? <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. As you mentioned, and as I corrected myself at the time, um, very delicious. Allegri were just too far back off that pace mark, really. I mean, I know that's very delicious. It's probably not really Allegri though, but it's. Um, well, Jason what, what is Allegri? I see that's the thing. You know, Bishin, Bishin makes these horses look yep. great, and yeah, and then somebody else. Bishin off. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, it, 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 look, we, we make all these things up with hindsight, but remember Allegri at a first start. Who was she? Who was she like? Bursting to get over the top off. Out of a miracle. Yeah. Who was that? Sorry. Out of the miracle. Oh, destined to never win another race. That's right, beautiful. Um, in today at Warwick Farm. Um, be able to beat. Back to back wins for you. <laughs> <laughs> can we get can we get set for five thousand sports bet? <laughs> back to back wins yeah, for two thousand. Two thousand sports bet. Oh well we yeah, just right. got set for five thousand for zombies. Yeah. yeah, well why can't we have five thousand for the order? It's a racehorse where there's zombies. Two thousand <laughs> two thousand Metro New South Wales, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's always just keeping the polish on the top of the bag. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, we know we bagged you, but remember how we were also nice. Well done, Matt. No right, back, back like wins the, for you'll never. You're like but, the cleaner. But uh, the, the notable plunge on Rain Affair, and that's the closest. Well, notable plunge, like, led by you. Yeah, led by, you. by, by Rob right, right Waterhouse. Right, leader. How many leaders does he want to back? All yeah. of them? Yeah. See if he wants half this total of 50 actually. <laughs> <in zombies. laughs> no, they're not leading. Zombies, they're, they're, they're down the outside. <laughs> I've got, I've got earthquake. But you've never watched a zombie movie, haven't you? Sort of Z- zombies, zombies come up on you. They, they, they're back at the tail of the fields. Waterhouse well, is playing zombies. They funny. Yeah. And they seem to smash the smithereens yeah. and shotty. Yeah. If they did attack and we all had a shotgun, wouldn't it be the best day of your life? It'd be pretty awesome. But they're coming from behind. Like I'd be running around. I'd probably take out Valance. Oh, sorry, mate. I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very nice man, Peter Valandis, and I will not hear of him. <laughs> <laughs> You love the boom. Oh, I love the boom. I love Emma Reed. She's a champion. Um, mate, uh, yeah, so we mentioned you'll never. Um, Josh Parr, when the fence, obviously we mentioned the riders might have overreacted, but the fence was definitely the slow lane. Josh Parr doesn't matter what, what, how fast or slow it is. If he's on a front runner, he is staying hard on the fence, isn't he? That's his go. Yeah, it's weird when you see you saw the race before, how well D. Beasley negotiated yes. the lead. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, and you're not talking about having to get off six horses. You're only having to get off a metre. And it's a and two or three lengths difference, and, and you know I mean I know, I know the horse was run over, but it's how, what was the official margin there? Two now? lengths. Two lengths. Yeah. What do you I, want? I really like Josh. He's a very likable lad, and he's a nice boy. And, and he rode and the last one really well. Didn't he, he? He, he seems to ride some horses really well, and some he just rides Joshy. You know? Yeah. Yep. He, um, bit of I, I hope he I hope he continues to get better. We, we, he's, we, he's, he's a likable player. Oh, Josh is He's not up himself at all. No, like no, half no. of them are just terrifying. Yeah, no, exactly right. He knows he's three foot six and he's happy about and it. He, he's he, just a he, happy he, man. He does his bit, best competing with you when you give him a serve. He's a good tradesman. Yeah, he, but when, when you, you give him a serve, he does his he does his he, best. He's rhetorically has a go back. So yeah, sometimes maybe it's okay. he'll be in trouble for bagging someone in racing. Well, Josh, go the other way. He's licensed. Yeah, and now you know also too part of these new rules are too if a jockey is approached by a person to say can you do me something like this and if that jockey doesn't dob in them dob on them the jockey is in big trouble oh 
jibber jobbers. So jo- jockeys have to. So if you go up and say like to Josh, um, Josh, you know he's five for maybe going a bit quicker or something like that. He and he does. And if he doesn't run straight to Ray Murrahy and tell Mr. Murrahy that you offered him five to so do that, if he, he, so he's in big let's trouble. Let's get legal here. Let's get legal. That, let's say that scenario happens. How does Mr. Murrahy prove that? Well, that's, that, that, that's what it comes down to. But if he doesn't Because he report said, that, I said it, and I'd say, no, he said it. No, because that, what we might do for the jockeys we don't like, we'll have a hidden camera. We'll film them and give them the offer, and then they won't tell them, and then we'll give them the 10. Aha! And we'll get them, and we'll go, see you later. All right. Uh, Josh, he's, um, that was it. Yeah, yeah, lovely, cool. And the Emma Show Drifters, we mentioned. Glenn and I are sitting in the ring. We're watching Sandra get... It, it's, you know, 7 $8 everywhere. Sandro's going $10. Which just means just that there's no money in the marketplace for it at all. No. Sandra, if Sandro can't lay it first, it can't be laid. Yeah. Next thing, it's $17.50 on the fair. Yeah, and, and we're looking at, looking at going $10. We don't really like this horse, but $10? You couldn't resist it. Well, it was one of those bets that you had that you know you're going to lose your money, but you can't resist you it. Just, you just can't say it's just too much. You can't and then it just kept going and going. Like it's, it's practice. It's yeah. a, a lick at the lollipop shop. Yeah. Someone says, don't lick there. There's all these little sticky lollipops. You know, have a lick. lick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> so excited. Um, All right, so uh, Grundizi, blue colours. The blue colours, the Godolphin horses, Mark. Uh, Grundizi, yeah, I, said un- you on fr- I said you on Friday that they've gone off. Yeah, and they're off in the market too. See, they seem very hard to lay, Glenn. Grundizi was very hard to lay, and um, I did think it got to a backable price, but the market was too good there. Basculet, mounting yard mail. How good is it with that horse? Was well, tuned- a beautiful example of mounting yard mail. But- it wouldn't happen to me first four, it wouldn't happen to me first eight numbers. Um, but the, the beautiful thing about it is, and the key negatives that we speak about, Glenn, is that that horse was trained up for the win. It was backed as if it was trained up for the win, but there was something wrong with the horse. Stayed because last, went wide, stayed last, finished last. And there was something there was something wrong with the horse because the horse wasn't a happy horse with the little things that you look at. There it was. That, 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 and that. Oh, you want to do the complete set? There thank it you. Was. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I stood for 5,000 and uh, yeah. kept thinking, how come I haven't laid this? Uh, 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 from my point of view, I reckon that was great because I did like, as you know, I like Basculet and I was looking for the looking for the right signs. You're watching it $5 into $3.80 and I'm thinking, this wins. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And then go to be able to go man. there and just change your mind and say, this is not in the race. And that's, w- it was not in the race. I've got to thank Glenn Pollock for that. That's right, my good friend Dolph Baker. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Marshall rode a winner. Well, what about that? Taylor Marshall has ridden his 20th Metropolitan winner. He rode 19 on one day. <laughs> but he got into Roseville too. Um, he's doing, he rode a winner yesterday. He rode a winner. He's, he's sort of come back a bit more focused. He's doing a particularly good job. And when you think, and this is to Morris Lowe, even though I'll never bag anyone in race in New South Wales, Claire Nutman was awarded the New South We've Wales. We've got a email about that. We'll cover, we'll, cover, we'll, cover that. we'll cover that next. Yeah, the New South Wales Rising yes. Star Award. Yes. He's supposed to get the most points. Clean up on we'll, 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 we'll cover this Clean next. We'll, there's an email about Let's that. Let's just go through the job sequences, right? If you want to go to Sky and you can't spell and you don't look any good, and, uh, and anyone out there it's 58 kilos, because that's going to be the new limit soon, and you think you can ride a horse, you could be a champion. <laughs> Dicky, um, can, I, can I just ask something? Um, I noticed that Winona fell off at Hawkesbury there, not yesterday. Yeah, but the, bounced back up, but she... But she's she done a bit of falling off at the start, hasn't she? Yeah, she Who was the rider that fell off? She fell off that horse that, that, that ruined, up Joey's, yeah, ruined Bonetti or Bonite or Bonite, whatever it was. Yeah. And didn't she fall off at Wellington at the start as well? Mm. She's a faller offerer. Start faller Well, off the her. thing is that um, that's Joe, in fact it was Joe Pride again at Hawkesbury that that horse she's interfered a, with. She's a faller offerer for Joe Pride. Is three faller offers? She jumps off at the start and the, fall, the, uh, the riderless horse makes... Uh, a bet, fair, a bet fair queen. She could, plays havoc. She could be. What was what was the uh, what was the thing in Perth? Yeah, Danny Hobby. Danny Hobby. She could be Danny Hobby. <laughs> Maybe what about she's when like boom. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Kenner. Maybe she is Danny Hobby. <laughs> Have we ever seen Danny Hobby and her together? <laughs> Who's Danny Hobby? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We've got five thousand on the aliens. Yeah, we're <laughs> We've got money, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Right, Dicky finally gets to sit there with uh, us. Dick, but it doesn't count because it said sat from the Robles stadium at the same I, I did say that Dicky will never change it to train another Saturday winner. And it doesn't count, but that horse also loves spoil. Let me tell you one thing about that horse. It's absolutely flying, and for it to win in the wet, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, as it gets further into preparation, as the tracks get dry, keep back. Yeah, lovely. Perfect. All right. Send in part one. Part one. Boom. <laughs> it wasn't too bad a part one this week. <laughs>